是。Okay. Accor according to the courts, to the to the lower courts and the Supreme Courts, according to the the world the world system of law. Bisexuality is, is being made to be a glamorous life. It's it's being made out to be glamorous. Bisexuality. Uh, according to the Bible, bisexuality in, God, in God's kingdom and God's law system is cert, certain death. And I see a lot of different people of different colors and races talking bad about legal, legal, and legitimate money, nine to five money. According to a lot of different people of all colored race, that nine to five money, physical labor, legal, legitimate, appropriate money ain't right. And I'm I'm not trying to prove I ain't trying to prove shit about myself. You know what I'm mad about? You know you wanna know what I'm you want to know what I'm mad about? Maybe, maybe I should put two and two together and come up with four. You want to know what I'm mad about? Put two and two together and come up with four. It's common sense. It's common sense. Something, something rich folk don't have. Bisexuality is made, is being made out in the court system, the lower and the high, low, low and high courts, to be all okay. According to the law, even the police and the judges of the low, low, lower court and the high court and the Supreme Court, the. They don't even abide by their own laws. The Supreme, all the court systems in this America do not abide by their own laws. The police are setting in people's driveway in the communities while they're in their houses committing acts of crime. And then they show up at my house and say, you're mentally ill. You need to take medication. You, you, don't, you don't talk correct. People don't like your tone of voice. People don't, people hate, why don't the police show up and say, you know what, bro? People hate you, dog, because you are a man of God. The police should say, here's my gun. Blow your head off so I don't go to, so as an officer, I don't have to go to prison or jail for killing you. That's how shit is. They're they're making a a new uh, Supreme Court justice uh, judge a, a woman. But the thing about these Supreme Court judges. They can't act on their own, their own human temple of God, human te spirit of God shit. They got to play it by the, the books and the system of the world, which ain't got God's kingdom. God's system ha don't have anything to do. God's kingdom and world, God's kingdom and system don't have anything to do with the, the world's kingdom and system. I'm listening. I'm listening right now on YouTube, CBS News. Y'all, y'all can make me look mentally ill and bipolar as you want. Give me as many pills as you want. 
But why I'm free, I'm studying politics and I'm studying the Bible. They're, they're appointing honorary Amy Coney Barrett as a Supreme Court woman judge. It's right here. It's right there. It's on. It's YouTube Live, CBS News, right now. They call. They call me. They call me Chris Single, the undercover brother. There, there are there are bisexuality people in my neighborhood. There is there is sex offenders in my neighborhood. I don't even talk to any of these people. Not, I don't even talk to them or anybody else in this neighborhood. You know what? You know everybody's like you know you got a good deal. Um, you should appreciate this neighborhood. You should appreciate appreciate your privileges. Well, when my relationship with God, Christ Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, and my life becomes an issue to the people around here, I can't enjoy my privileges. I can't enjoy being straight, being my sexual. I can't enjoy my sexuality being correct with God. I can't enjoy my privileges correct with God. I can't enjoy my money correct with God because people of different beliefs and religions of the world and of the devil are interfere, trying to interfere with my personal my private relationship with the Lord. I've had family members I've had family members say you should read your Bible more often. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I, I do read my Bible more often, more often than anybody around here. Because even my family around here don't read the Bible. These people in this neighborhood are trying to be politically correct. They're not, they're not trying to be godly correct. They're trying to be politically correct. These people around here don't even mess with politics. And they try to be politically correct. Now, if I lose my life and my privileges and my freedom, hey, that's just the typical that's just the typical man of God in this world. But this is 2020. Think about it. And I do have a criminal record, and I have some things I haven't shared with anybody yet. But God knows, and Satan knows too. You, you cannot sugarcoat people that you know you've experienced way more than they ever have and ever will. And they get offended at anything you say. And they don't even want to talk to you uh, of the normal, normal, normal reality out of their life. I've noticed anything I've said or done in the last 42 years has been either disrespectful to them or offended them. In other words, have a blessed day of God in this world. God bless your souls. And I hope God convinces you people around here to repent of your sins and ask for forgiveness and go about your business, people. Don't be, why are people so interested in what I say to have a negative, to have ne negative feedback against me? I can't even live my life because people don't have a life. Cr critics and naysayers that don't want to live their lives. Critics and naysayers that don't have a life. And they're, they're, so busy, they're so busy condemning me to death, they don't even take time to live their own life. God bless y'all. Have a uh, vote, vote 2020. I'm voting. 
I'm Republican. I'm a Republican. I'm all type of Republican. Um, any any type of Republican you can think of, I am Republican. Please, people, vote. God bless the rest of 2020, and God bless 2021 and beyond. I love everybody. I love everybody. God bless your souls. I hope God leads you to him.